Yeah. So there's a poem I want to read to you by, um, I actually don't know if it's a man or a woman, Avide Shashani. I've probably not said that right. Titled, Tell Me Where to Be Born. People of the world, tell me where to be born. If I were born in the land of your interest, would you let me die? People of the world, my name is Holocaust, and I'm 50-some years old. My name is Sarajevo, and I'm three years old. My name is Bijak, and I'm but a month old. And I have no name. I'm yet to be born. People of the world tell me where to be born so that you will not hurt me one day, so that you will not maim me one day, so that you will not kill me one day. People of the world tell me where to be born. Now, this poem was written quite a while ago because Sarajevo was not three years ago. It was, <laughs> I don't know, a couple of decades at least by now, but you could add in any other names. You know, when we're born, we inherit the wars and oppressions of our fathers. And, and mothers. And when I say oppressions, I mean both those that we are under and those that we are in the process of applying. And we're all a little bit of both. And when I say wars, I mean the biggest ones on the planet and the smallest ones in our hearts and everything in between. And we usually pick up new wars and oppressions on our way, unfortunately, and pass them along to our, you know, the next generation. It's important to realize and remember that everything that is taking place on this earth is an invention. We made this up. It's not real in the sense that we could have done anything else. <laughs> we could have all been together sipping pina coladas on a beach somewhere if we made some other choices, you know, 5,000 years ago and didn't, or whatever, whenever it was, we, we didn't start the fire, said Billy Joel. We didn't start all this stuff happening but we sure are good at carrying it on and we're starting some of our own stuff yes and I'm just why in the world did we invent war and that that's what we want to do with this planet I don't get it I never have now of course it's very real in the sense that all of these things that we're inventing have consequences for us and for others the consequences are real but we are the m makers of meaning. And a lot of us, not everybody, but a lot of us are struggling for paradise. We're trying to do everything we think we're supposed to be doing so that we can be granted paradise after we leave here. Or take your pick of whatever version that's important to you. The grand secret is, is that we were given paradise in the beginning. It has already been given to us. This earth, the, the planet, the actual planet is so gorgeous. It's just, it's beyond the, the setting, the setting in which we could play out anything we wanted to play out is just beyond gorgeous. Okay. And all human beings are cool. You know, if you would stop, if we would stop killing them, and get to know each other, human beings are cool. 
It's just that we're in modified states, modified by war and modified by oppression. We don't know what we look like underneath all that shit. Honestly, it's what it is. So when we were given paradise, this is what we did with paradise. We started killing each other. So there ain't nobody to blame but ourselves. But here's, so it's like when you're born, you get into a story and that's what it is. But they're very dangerous stories. They're very, um, yeah, they're sad and painful stories on some level. And not everybody has a huge tragic life. Some of us are blessed. And even though I could point to a lot of things that have happened to me and that I've done, you know, even now I, I choose to try to see what's, what's a blessing in things. So that's a perspective that you choose. But um, anyway, the, the crux of the little point that I'm giving, there's lots of ways I could come at talking about war and oppression and the choices that we make. But when, you know, a person is born, they're just a baby. And they're not the war. They're not the oppression. They're not, those are all extra. Those are all invented. Those are all made up. And that's the crux of what I want you to know. And to try to remember that this is just, we don't have to do this. Like even the styles of clothes you wear, you know, what's in, what's out, wear it or don't wear it. I mean, I, I keep t threatening to, um, I haven't done it yet, but I'm like, so many ball gowns, so little time. Like, I'm gonna, I'm gonna start, I'm gonna go to the secondhand store and find really beautiful dresses and just start wearing them to the grocery store or something. I don't have any ball to go to, but I don't know why I have to watch a Disney movie or something like that just to get my ball gown kicks or something. When I could, no one's, you know, there's no actual rule about, um, wearing ball gowns at the grocery store or whatever. Of course, these days I usually show up in my sweats and t-shirt, but that's another story. <laughs> so, but do you know what I mean? Even the little things, ask yourself, why am I doing this or why are we doing this? And if it doesn't, if it fits with you, fine. If it doesn't, like, switch it up. Now again, the harm we do to each other is real. Harm is real. So if you're inventing harmful things or participating in them, Learn how not to. That's what's real. But sometimes we invent the story first and then if it includes harm, we think that the story has to continue to be justified over and over again, whether or not it includes harm or oppression. And harmlessness is real. The love that we can give each other is real. And we could do that through any story too. Think of a nice love story, a really nice love story to live out for yourself, do yourself first. Create a love story and live it for yourself, then your significant other, and then your children if you have any, then your parents, grandparents, brothers and sisters, your neighbors, close friends, your community, all in that order. Your pets, create a love story, because you can. I'm not saying it's easy, but at least start, oh my goodness. This is all made up, and this is what we did. We were given paradise, and we started shedding blood in it. Where should anybody be born? There is no safe place. Shame on you, shame on me. Something to think about. I'll see you later.